Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynard's computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tungyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby Expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowoon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowoon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Space, sir. Okay, let's go, sir. Thank you.
You got an invitation there, sir? Forgery. This will get you access to see all your favorite stars up close. Yeah, you can be sitting back and sipping my eyes with Moses Lee. Tempted? No? Well, come and find me if you change your mind. What a great. Yeah, this was... the audience has come to see something special. Hey, you know, right. Keep some ground on the left. This could go down. Hey, hey, uh, I need some help. My personal space, sir. Here we go. 
Sir, you are currently trusted. Stop right there. Sir, this is the second time. You are under arrest. Keep those hands behind your head. Down on your knees. It's just amazing. Turn around now. Please. Keep her waiting. I'm doing my best here, Doc. So, Mr. Duran, maybe if you think about running one. I'm doing the best I can over here, Doc. So, did Dr. Sorensen manage to get Sierra Knox's phone number? I heard him arguing with that Kronstadt lawyer earlier. Oh, hello there. Just take a seat. We're, we're very busy right now. So, did... Dr. Sorensen managed to get Sierra Knox's phone number. I heard him arguing with that Kronstadt lawyer earlier. No, didn't have any luck. Once he's done with that other driver, he'll just...
Hello, sir. Go, go, go. I think I'm running water. Surely you must be able to squeeze up. How are we doing? Relax, Doc. I know you've got Sierra Knox coming in for that fancy IV vitamin boost. I'm doing my best here. All right. The race is entering its final lap, 47. Oh, Doctor. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm guessing you're here to replace Dr. Sorensen. I, uh, I forget your name, sorry. Dr. Reaper. Oh, yes, of course. Well, when... Forty-seven. The race is over. Sierra will be coming off the track any time now.
Miss Knox, I'm ready for you. Let's do this. All right, Doug. Where'd you want me? Miss Knox, come on in. Have a seat and relax. So, what's on the menu? Something that'll take care of this hideous pain in my neck, I hope. I promise. Once I'm done, you won't feel a thing. So what's in this thing anyway, Doc? Mostly floral extracts, hemlock, belladonna, aconite. It's designed to be fast and efficient. Fast and efficient. I like that. Wait, wait belladonna? Isn't that poisonous? Yes. Should I be concerned? I'm not. Just relax. It'll be over soon. So what exactly are we waiting for here? Hey, Doc, hope we don't need you today, huh? Hey, you know what? I do feel refreshed. Thanks, Doc. My pleasure, Miss Knox. Uh, I... I don't feel... I don't feel well, Doctor. Don't worry. It'll be over soon, Miss Knox. <laughs> Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. You ain't going any further, okay, driver? Sorry, you're gonna have to leave right now, sir. Okay, you have a good one, sir. Get that killer shot to impress your family and friends at work. Sorry, I can't let you through. Unless someone's dying or on fire or something. So please, move along. It's almost very suspicious to me. You might be onto something.
Exactly what I thought of his stupid ideas. If you can buy my side. Come in now. to meet up with Sierra Knox over at the hotel. Yeah, after the race. Just gotta pick up the documents from my van, but um, I had to knock out a guy and steal his flamingo outfit. Now I can't find my car keys. Yeah, I know it's dumb. I think I lost them in the scuffle, but the real mascot is still over there. If I don't get them, I've got no evidence. Bye bye, money. I don't know. I need to figure something out.
anything just sets them off. Like my wife. Don't say. Jinpo is pretty lax with his import taxes. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? Stop right now!
import taxes and has a lot of money in the bank. I suspect Knox wants a piece of the pie. If Poe offs a few rebels to help improve Palace, Knox is apparently down with that. If this leaked, the media would eat Knox alive. He dodged that Tongue and Valley bullet pretty well. Only because Jin Poe is a... You know, I can see you. You're not very good at hiding. Hang on, 47. Robert Knox's calendar shows a meeting with a Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the US military. It must be related to that robot. Maybe you can find Mendez somewhere. Ted Mendez, a defense funding consultant with the US military, is scheduled for a pro sure you fixed all outstanding issues with the microactuators. Yeah, boss, I'm sure. Checked an hour ago. All lights are green. This fella will make your special place all tingly. But, but listen, there's something we should talk about. That what? is Robert Knox, so genius inventor, well, black market's weapons dealer, and Providence defector. I've looked over everything, and I just can't nail it. Something about the console, but I'm not sure what. So, well, a man died. Yes, that was quite unfortunate. I believe legal has resolved the matter with the wife. Well, widow. Well, m more importantly, it feels like the biometric scanners aren't 100%. If you really want to go ahead with this crazy demo, we should at least make sure the console can't fail. It's not exactly tamper-proof. So fix it. Look, McInnes, I'm counting on you here. I'm literally putting my life into your hands with this demo. We need to pull this off. I know you don't like it, but I'm the boss and I like it. Big sales is what I do. Make it work. I'll see what I can do. Good man. Surely he must have opened for business by now. Well, no, still nothing. Who runs a business like that? Maybe mention that it's virtually impervious to small arms fire. The palace unit can be upgraded, eventually replacing standard troops. Everything is safe. Hey, you! You!
falling down by the water is driving you nuts with hunger? No, no, that wasn't it. I was thinking about what the life is transferred from the center of the deck. Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. This is my first gig. Never been to Easy Grits before, but it sure is loud. I heard something about a secret demo upstairs in the end. Oh, hello? HR? Yes, it's Finn. my first gig. Never been to Easy Grits. Oh, hello? HR? Yes, it's Finn Wheeler down... Yeah, keep it real. Figured I'd try out a new beat, you know? Everything you hoped it would be? Don't know. That is Ted Mendez, one of the country's most influential military grade money men. This must be connected to Kronstadt. It's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new combat android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. There! Hey, what the hell are you doing? What?
Phil? It's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the expo building. <laughs> Phil? It's Ted here. Just returning your call before heading over to the Expo building to meet Knox for the new Combat Android presentation. No, not yet. I'm letting him stew a little. The guy's a genius, and you know what they're like. Desperately lacking any discipline or respect for other people. Last time I tried to have a meeting with him, he had me sitting in a room for four hours before canceling. I'll head up when I feel like it. Alright, I'll call you after the presentation. Speak then. Ah, security. Look well prepared. Eyes open, sir. Uh, can you please get out of my face? If you could take a couple of steps back, it would set my mind at rest. Back off a little, buddy. You're starting to freak me out. 
Why are you all up in my face? Give me some space, man. Back off. Lovely day. Can you smell it? I had beans, and I think they were off. Sorry. Mr. Mendez, good to see you, sir. The demonstration is scheduled to take place on the upper floors. Please feel free to use the stairs right over there. Everything's under control, sir. See ya. Guess traffic was rough. Ah, never mind. Let me show you everything. I'm gonna say something provocative now, Ted. War is going out of fashion. It's dirty. It's just plain bad PR. Nobody wants Hello to there, exchange sir? their children and loved ones for flags and medals anymore. Glory is gone, Ted. But... Luckily, Kronstadt has a solution for that. Imagine this. Android infantry How you been? operating in the field, disguised and fully embedded, ready to strike at a moment's notice. Indestructible robotic operators who can infiltrate the deepest sanctuary of any adversary, striking an unseen fatal blow, a surgical tool for a blood wound. Imagine an army of them, fully equipped android medics, seeking out wounded servicemen and injured civilians, Target bringing them to safety, LBA. or patching them up then and there. Android pilots delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory. You are invading my personal space, sir. Know him? What? A 
I've got to say, this robot is pretty impressive. Spec wise, it's miles above. Collecting pictures of celebrity entrepreneurs now, 47. Hmm. What are you thinking? Android pilots del delivering payloads deep inside enemy territory with uncanny precision and minimal collateral damage. All right, Mendez, it's very straightforward. Let me show you. I just pick any of the pictures on the desk, then I use the scanner to upload the biometric data, and Palace Target will do the rest. Wired, dummy me. Obviously, the final system won't rely on you manually feeding it biometric data. This is still a prototype. This is a pivotal moment in modern conflict solution, Ted. Palace is in Target Jesus. Robert Knox. Damn it. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. Berlin. Shanghai. Montreal. We're bleeding operatives. Panic is spreading, and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. 
I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Ah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Ah, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> if you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. 